is the brand new iPhone 5 straight out of the box and in this video we're going to take it apart and have a closer look at what's inside. First thing we need to do is remove the two star shaped screws from the bottom of the phone. These are the same style screws as used in the iPhone 4S and iPhone 4. With the screws removed we can now ease out the screen. We're going to use a suction cup to lift the screen and use a safe open pry tool to help lift it out. Notice that we're going in from the front on the iPhone 5 as opposed to going in from the back on the 4 and the 4S. Of course makes it much easier for screen repairs. The screen is still attached to the motherboard so we need to remove these flex cables which are under the metal plate. Remove the three small Phillips screws as being shown here now in the video. You now have access to the free flex ribbon cables for the screen. Using a safe open pry tool, just pop these pop connectors off and you will then be able to remove the screen from the rest of the phone. So here is the new longer iPhone 5 screen and here are the free connectors which were connected to the motherboard. Reattach the screen, just pop the pop connectors back in place. This is how you would replace a damaged screen. Much easier than the iPhone 4 and 4S. Next we are going to remove the battery. To do this we first need to remove the cover over the battery connector. So we need to remove the small Phillips screws and then release the pop connector. the battery connector already released we can now ease out the battery by using the clear tab it's held in with a little bit of glue as you can see it is very similar in size to the iPhone 4 and 4s battery next we're going to remove the sim card tray we're just going to use a uh, paper clip to push in the small hole which will pop it out and we can then remove. Now there seems to be a lot of small Phillips screws to remove on the iPhone 5. We're going to start by removing the small Phillips screws at the bottom of the phone and keeping them together to make it easier when reassembling. Next we're going to start by removing the small Phillips screws at the top of the iPhone. That's right, more screws. Let's take a quick break from removing screws and release the pop connectors using a safe open pry tool. Time for another screw but this time we need to use a flat head screwdriver to remove this one. A few more small Phillips screws to remove. Two more screws that require the flathead screwdriver again.
using a safe open pry tool we can release the pop connectors of the flex cables as being shown here. With the screws removed and the flex cables released, we can ease up the motherboard and gently lift to one side, being careful as it is still connected underneath by the antennae cable. Using the safe pry tool, we can release this pop connector and remove the motherboard from the rest of the phone. Here's a closer look at the motherboard from the iPhone 5 you can see that the camera is still attached to it. To remove the camera from the motherboard we need to remove two more screws as being shown here. With the screws removed we can use the pry tool again to release the camera pop connector and remove it from the board. The phone back cover still has the charge port attached to it. We're going to release the flex cable ribbon which is held to the back cover with a small bit of adhesive and then ease the rest of it out. Here's a closer look at the new smaller charge connector and also the headphone jack that's now at the bottom of the iPhone. Okay, so now we're just left with the back cover. In the top left corner is the vibrator motor. On the side you have the rear of the of the buttons. So you've got the volume button and the mute switch. In the top right corner we have the power button. So here are the major pieces of the iPhone 5. So we have the screen, the back cover, the motherboard, the battery, the charging dock port with speaker and headphone jack, and the camera, SIM card tray, and a metal plate.